it is such a complicated structure. For the most part, what we try to do is um, find where the pain is and work out which structure that is normally operating the foot and when it comes into operation because there are parts of the foot that don't work during what we call the gait cycle. So from the moment your heel hits the ground to the moment your toes leave the ground, um, different muscles fire at different points and um, where those muscles are active or where the ligaments are being stressed or where the bones are under pressure um, we need to work out when that's happening and then we use typically some sort of insole to help stabilize the foot to offload the force that's causing that particular structure to suffer during normal walking it holds the foot up as straight as we can get it while still allowing normal function. A lot of people talk about over pronating feet. Well, pronation and supination are natural movements of the foot and they are required. Without the ability to pronate and supinate, the foot does not function anywhere near as well as it, as it can. Everything from muscle wasting conditions through to undiagnosed stressed fractures, um, ligamentous injuries, um, something called plantar fasciitis is quite common, um, all of which affect the function of the foot and um, we try to help using uh, stabilizing forces. We make um, everything from insoles through to ankle foot orthoses, through to knee ankle foot orthoses, um, we provide what is effectively an exoskeleton that allows stability for your skeleton uh, to help make movements more fluid, reduce pressure where that pressure is a problem and to offload that pressure. I spent the best part of 10 years working uh, in a uh, hospital where I didn't have that facility and the difference in uh, my ability to treat my patients because I have control over the production of the insole or whatever orthotic device it may be um, makes a phenomenal difference. <laughs>